good morning to you people of the most high God. How are you doing on this morning? Listen, on this morning broadcast, we are talking about it's time for you to be blessed. There is a time and a season for everything under the heavens. And your word for this morning is this. It's your time to be blessed. Get ready as we go into the presence of God and the word of God. Morning Prayer with Pastor Sean Pinder. Awesome God. Come on, worship with me on this morning. How great thou art. You are God. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Come on, sing it with me. Lord, we bow and worship you come on see you with me awesome god we love you jesus how great thou art you are god and mighty are your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name and lord we bow and worship you holy are you lord sing it with me and holy are you lord and all creation call you god worthy is your name and worthy is your name we worship your majesty we worship your majesty awesome God an awesome God how great thou art you are God and mighty are your miracles they stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow and worship you father god in the name of the lord jesus christ on this morning me and pastor amy we join our faith with your wonderful people on this morning father god we pray that the holy ghost would bear witness with their spirits to the word of god that it's their time to be blessed bless your people through the word of god encourage them change their season Turn things around in their lives. No matter how bad it is, no matter how long they had to wait, the wait was worth it all and their wait is getting ready to be over. Encourage them this morning. Bring direction into their lives. Answer that prayer. In the name of Jesus we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. Glory to God. So on this morning, this is the word of God over your life. It's your time to be blessed. And this brings us in the book of John chapter 5. Glory to God. This is a passage of scripture that blew my mind and always blows my mind every time I read it, every time I study it. There's always more to get out of the word of God. John chapter 5 beginning at verse 2. The word of God declares, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches. Pay attention now. Verse 3. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, people who are blind, who are halt and withered, paralyzed people, waiting for the moving of the water. My God. The Bible says in verse 4, for an angel went down at a certain season, at a certain season, into the pool and trouble the water. Whosoever then first steps in after the troubling of the water was made completely whole of whatsoever disease he had. You can see why there was a great multitude there. Because people want the healing power of God to be made manifest in their lives and people will travel great distance to experience the healing power of God. Let's talk about it in the natural. People will travel the world 
over to see a real good physician. And why shouldn't they? Who doesn't want a good doctor? Who doesn't want, want the proper medicine that will help your body? Are you listening to me? That's why I thank God for doctors. He's given them wisdom. But on the other hand, there is supernatural healing that comes through men and women of God. And in this situation, there was an angel who went down at a certain season, the Bible says, and troubled the waters, troubled this water. And the Bible says there was impotent people that they were blind, they were maimed, they were halt, they were withered, they were paralyzed. They were there. And it was a great multitude. And whoever steps in first after the water was troubled, that person was made completely whole of whatever disease they had. So even though it was a crowd, you had to be the first one in the water. Now, you know, some people probably got stampeded. Some people got shoved around. I'm sorry, but if I needed a miracle, man, some, someone might have got trampled. I'm sorry, man. When you want something bad enough, when you want it bad enough, you will push, you will do whatever it takes to get it. Come on, talk to me here, somebody. And so this was the situation surrounding this man that we're about to come and begin to talk about. In verse 5, the Bible says, and a certain man was there, which had an infirmity for 38 years. When Jesus saw this man, Jesus saw him lying there and knew that this man had been in this situation a long time. He said unto this man, do you want to be made whole? Now listen, this is the compassion of the Lord Jesus. He sees this man and the minute his eyes are on this man, the Holy Ghost gives him all this supernatural information that this man had been waiting for a long time time for his miracle and no doubt he was not going to be the first one to step in the water because he is in the line and all kind of people are in the front of this man and Jesus is moved to give this man a miracle a breakthrough oh he's looking at your situation right now the Lord's eyes is on you he is I mean he has laser focus he is setting his eyes on you and he's about to give you a visitation watch this so Jesus said to this impotent man do you want to be made whole and I can imagine this man's thinking I've been in this mess for 38 years of course I want to be made whole now watch this. Jesus said unto him, he's speaking directly to this man. Jesus said, rise, take up your bed and walk. My God. This is the power of God in action. Think about this. There is a whole multitude there. Thousands of sick people who need a miracle from God. And the Holy Ghost moves on Jesus. And Jesus passed the whole crowd up to come to this one man. He probably been waiting the longest for his miracle. But it was his time. It was his season for a miracle. And Jesus passed up all of those people to get to this one man. That means this man was at the breaking point. He was at the point of giving up. He probably was at the point of throwing the towel in. That's where some of you are this morning. I know it by the Spirit of God. And now the Holy Ghost is passing a whole lot of folks up to get to you this morning. That's why you are tuning into this broadcast. Why? Because it's your time. Glory to God. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. I said it's your time time to be blessed it's your time and Jesus said rise take up your bed and walk and the Bible says immediately immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day it was the Sabbath Jesus met the man later and said go your way and sin no more lest a worse thing come on you because when Jesus heals you he's expecting your whole life to change spiritual physical mental and emotional glory to God in heaven think about this for a minute 
It was his time. It was his season. Jesus heard his cry and the Holy Ghost hone in on this one man in the crowd. And after Jesus healed this one man, he just left. This blows my mind because Lord, there's a whole, there's a whole lot of other people there. Why this one guy? Because he was at the breaking point. He was about to give up. He was about to throw the towel in. He couldn't take it no more. He had been in this situation the longest for 38 years. And one word from God turned this man's entire life around. Turned his entire situation around. Rise, take up your bed and walk. And he acted on what the Lord Jesus said. And when he did, he received a miracle it's your time it's your season continue to listen to these broadcasts listen it's your time to be blessed we cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ right now we cover you in the blood you will not miss your moment in Jesus name I surrender all but there is something greater here that needs to be taken care of you need to make things right with God. You watching this broadcast, you've been watching us now for a while, and you haven't yet made that commitment. Today is your day to be saved, delivered, and set free. It's your time to be blessed, and the blessing of God begin with salvation. When we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives, and without any further hesitation, I want you to pray this prayer with me right now. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I'm asking you to forgive me of all of my sins. I'm asking you to wash me in your blood. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. They buried you in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand and soon and very soon you are coming again Lord Jesus from this day I turn my back on the world the flesh and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son Jesus Christ thank you for saving my soul and writing my name down in the Lamb's book of life if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, let me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Welcome into God's family. We want you to type below this video right now. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. The greatest statement we could see under any video on YouTube or Facebook that I've just surrendered my life to to Jesus do it right now my God my God I surrender all I give myself away I give myself away come on and give yourself to him sing it to him I give myself away so you can use me I give myself Give myself, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away, I give myself, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away I give myself I give myself away So you Listen here We want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel Of the Lord Jesus Christ To do so You can visit us online right now At seanbinder.net forward slash give seanbinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal 
paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by texting the letters SPM to the numbers 45888. You can text SPM to 45888 and a link will be sent to your smartphone where you can give. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. And listen here, never forget, me and Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you a whole lot. And we want you to click on these videos right over here. They will be a tremendous blessing to your life. And I'm telling you, these videos will keep you under the anointing and in the presence of God. God bless you.